What's up guys? Welcome back to part two of my knife collection video. I tried to record this using my other box and I kept having issues with my foam and fumbling since it's all beaten up. Uh, so I had to put everything in this box, but we'll be continuing where I left off. So let's get started. To begin, I got the uh, Kershaw Shield. This is a hinder design. And uh, yeah, just a really, really sweet Hinderer by Kershaw. I really wish I can get the Eclipse that this is modeled after. One of Hinderer's Eclipses, but I'm still looking for the right one. Nice 8CR13 MOV. Tonto blade here. And uh, just a cool budget piece by Hinderer. Up next, we have the Tucson. TS-264 by Mazwan Mokhtar, beautiful stone wash blade, carbon fiber, titanium, got that like sub frame lock style with the overlaid carbon fiber, very very smooth action, nice chunky pocket clip, although it doesn't work as good as uh, I would like, and then that clamshell design, kind of pseudo integral style. Definitely a great, great knife here. We have the Spyderco Tenacious. Pretty much a uh, classic in everybody's collection who has one of these. Pretty much everybody should. Um, tends to be a lot of people's first knives, but this was actually like my 80th knife. But I got this for Christmas last year. So, definitely sentimental and gonna be staying I mean all my knives stay in the collection but definitely wouldn't get rid of that for any reason is what I mean up next is the uh, Kershaw um, what is this the vapor it's the three Canadian design all 6a steel cool drop point Tonto style this like industrial looking carbonitride uh, Titanium coated handle. Up next, got the Tucson TS313 by Night Morning button lock. Their first button lock with that beautiful uh, Bowie style Tonto, the hollow ground blade. Ridiculously smooth on double row ceramic bearings. Just a really, really great design by Night Morning. Thumb studs. Love it. Love, love, love this knife. And where was I? Up next, the old school CRKT Apache 2 with the ATS 34 steel and that sandblasted blade style. I uh, really like these old CRKTs. They uh, definitely used to do some great work back in the days. A nice liner lock here. Up next, we got the Blade HQ exclusive D2 um, Cryo Hinderer design G10 Stonewash stainless steel. Just a great little work knife here. After that, we have the Tucson TS-269, night morning design, gorgeous, gorgeous piece, look at that milling, awesome blade shape, D2, nice handle design, just everything about this knife I love, and the action, wonderful. Here we have the Megron Vazo. This little guy is in green micarta, titanium clip, pivot collar, front flipper. Pretty cool little front flipper here, but it's got a really thick rind, so definitely should be reground. Um, but yeah, a little robust budget knife. Up next is the Kershaw Echelon 
with the Jade G10 handles, that floating thumb stud, stonewashed hollow ground blade, just a really, really nice old school Kershaw inset minor lock, speed safe assisted, as you can see the torsion bar. Here we have the Tucson TS-129 by Night Morning. Gorgeous carbon fiber. Look at that. Wicked, cool, kind of bird style blade shape, beak. M390. The titanium side is just wonderful as well. Hidden screw for the pocket clip. Just a really fidgety knife. One of uh, Two Sons' best designs in Night Morning as well. Up next, the Kershaw Tirade. Big old beast tank of a knife. And listen to this. Jesus. Love it. How can you, how can you not just love that thunk? 154 CM, CPM D2, composite blade. Just everything about this knife is amazing. Look at the tank. Definitely love me my tirade. Up next, we got the uh, scallion here. Can onion design, Damascus blade. I got the whole set, so you'll be seeing some other ones. The Tucson TS263 by Night Morning, brown micarta, titanium. 14C, nice and smooth front flipper, it's a great knife. Up next, this big old budget beater, the six leaf SL1 and D2 with that wicked Tonto blade, those fullers, rattlesnake design, green G10 on bearings. Up next is the Kershaw Highball in D2. Nice blue pivot collars. Just a good little uh, EDC here. I like this guy. On bearings. The TS-224 Viper by Jelly Jerry. This is one of my favorite Tucson's. Beautiful carbon fiber, titanium, M390, awesome blade shape, nice and smooth. Up next is this big boy, the Paragon ATK 10T. This is a out the front, single action, ATS 34 steel, so it's an old school Paragon. Retract it. Got the safety. Pretty sweet. Up next is this little Kershaw Mini Mojito. After they named it or Mini Mojo, they gotta rename it. Cool little recurve stud lock. And then it's got that flipper tab. Um, what is it? Like lock on it. You have to make sure you hit that and the flipper tab for it to engage. Unique piece, but definitely the only time they did this combo since it doesn't work well together. Up next, the Kershaw Compound, model number 1940. Just an old school beater, ATR. Up next, the Tucson TS-64 by Night Morning. Great, great knife. That, like black wash coated titanium style. Wonderful blade shape. D2. Wonderful ergos. And then the action is great as well. But good knife. Up next, got this big boy. The Kershaw Spoiler. Another 
Nice Beater, Tonto, Hollow Grind, Stonewash, 8CR, Speed Safe. It's just a big old worker. Nothing special, but it'll get the job done. Here's a Jelly Jerry piece, budget, uh, Tucson, inset liner lock, 14C, stonewashed, wicked uh, blade shape and handle, just the design overall. It's got that like fantasy buoy ish look to it. But it's just a uh, great piece here, real smooth. Here we have my Riot Coyote. Beautiful piece. Look at that carbon fiber. The backspacer is just gorgeous. Absolutely love this backspacer. Come on, let's get in here. See if we can. There we go. Yeah. Just everything about this knife is perfect finish on the blade, the way they did the lanyard, even though I don't use lanyards. Pocket clip, the hidden screw construction, the detent, so dialed in, M390. Up next, we have the Tucson TS-180 by Tepe Design, the Burlwood two-tone blade. 14C, and then the front flipper on this thing works very well. Really nice front flipper here. The old school Masters of Defense, James Keating Hornet. 154CM with serrations, which I actually like on this blade. So, And then you have your really, really thick liner lock, inset liner lock, which is wonderful for a knife like this. You get that double strength along with that like plunge lock for the uh, push button. But just a phenomenal piece. And here, what do we got? The uh, Santa Fonte Onion collaboration. This little Kershaw here. 440A steel, I believe. It's a great little knife. I call this like the mini leak. And then it's got that lock here to keep it locked closed. Can't open it. Up next, the Tucson TS217 Noble by Jelly Jerry. Definitely like me, my Jelly Jerry designs. Carbon fiber bolsters. 14C, and then it's got that unique, like, overlaid bolster style. Just a cool piece here. Kind of boxy, smart looking design to it. Up next, we got the Megron Acri Black Blade with the gaudy, brassy um, gold liners. DC 53 Steel. Stupid smooth, front flipper. It's a really good piece here for a budget knife. And then the uh, third one of the set, the Kershaw Leak. It's a Damascus blade. And that PVD coating gets real, real fingerprinty though. Up next, we have the Tucson TS-301 Lockdown by Mazwan Mokhtar. And D2, nice big old clip point buoy blade. Absolutely love this knife and blade shape. Just everything about this design is phenomenal. Especially for the price. Great action. Up next is my ZT-0909 Les George design. S35VN, got your bus cut, stone washed, just a big old chunker. And mine's got the uh, aftermarket Adrenaline XXX um, standoffs here. 
and then it's on bearings. Could be a little smoother though. The TS-283 by Wang Denshin. Get your brass inlays. Kind of Persian style blade. Super slicey. 14C. Great design here. Up next is the Kershaw Dividend in M390, which this was like a great introduction to M390 for a lot of people. American made Kershaw and just can't beat it for this price. Great knife. Super slim. Speed safe assisted, but I mean, still just a wonderful, wonderful knife here. Up next is the Tucson TS-08, or 208 by uh, Night Morning in D2, Green Micarta. Really love this clip point blade. It's got your hidden like troil here, and the hidden flipper. But definitely a nice budget design. That's something you're going to hear me say a lot is nice, because I mean, I do think a lot of my knives are great. But we all think that, you know, that our stuff is the best. But here we have the uh, Bone Doctor by Kevin John with the Timascus bolsters. Absolutely gorgeous. That carbon fiber is just beautifully done. And then the carbon fiber in the blade. M390. My Timascus is a little uh, scratched on this side. Gotta get that worked out and fixed. Um, tritium for the pocket clips. Just a really beautiful piece. Stupid smooth. Love it. Love, love, love that knife too. And then this beauty here is the TS-107 by Tucson. A Wang Denshin design. I just picked this up today. S90V. The milling on this is phenomenal though. Just beautiful. Very well made piece. And let's see. The TS-296. This is a Rihi design. Really sweet blade shape and just interesting milling on the titanium. 14C. Very smooth. Here we have my Protec TR2, old school, very rare. These were from when uh, Dave Wattenberg didn't even have a shop yet and he was making these in his home. Definitely go check the video out I did on this really, really special Protec. Up next is the Tucson TS-196 Sabertooth by Mazwan Mokhtar. One of my favorite designs by him. Gorgeous M390. And then screw for the pocket clip. Up next is my D Assisted ZT770 in carbon fiber with the MXG gear uh, screws. LMAX blade. One of my uh, favorite just everyday carry knives here. Great knife. Up next. We have the Protec Strider SNG in collaboration with the Tritium push button operator. Blacked out. 154 CM blade. Kind of wish it was S35 VN for this price, but definitely, definitely a really awesome knife here. It's really fingerprinty though. But, I mean, beautiful. Here we have the Kershaw Speedform 2 with your sculpted G10 LMAX blade. I'm still trying to get the Speedform 1, which is one of my grails. What do we got in here? Oh, the last one of the Onion series. The little chive. And my finger was in the way. Yeah, this little guy's kind of hard to use. I need this blade to be re etched though, in Damascus. Nice little knife. 
Up next, my Monterey Bay Knives Slayback and ZDP. Absolutely love this knife. Very Laconico design. Just wonderful. And then stupid smooth. Up next is my ZT780. These had some production issues, which is why I got discontinued quickly. You really don't ever see these. But definitely like to have it in the collection. Up next, the Tucson TS311 by Night Morning. Just a really nice, sweet design. Wicked blade shape. Stone washed. Ridiculously smooth action. The Civivi Hadros, another Dylan Mallory design. Green Micarta. I believe this one's in D2. On bearing, smooth. Let's see. The Kershaw Karai. I need to speed it up a little. Nice little beater. My Tucson TS-298, another Rihi. Awesome blade shape. Just a cool knife in general. Very smooth as well. My Tucson TS-22 by Night Morning. Titanium D2. The blue anodized pocket clip, or I mean a uh, backspacer with lanyard built in. This is the Kershaw Turismo. Little guy speed safe assisted on bearings, D2. It's a great little warning. It's a sheep's footy blade. Here we have the TS38 by Night Morning. Industrial style to it. Nice Tonto M390. Older Tucson. Nice and smooth. And here we have the Poor Man Sabenza, the CRKT S2. This is the small ATS 34 steel. All nice sandblasted titanium. It's a great little knife. I like these Taiwan made CRKTs a lot. Up next, the uh, TS-220 Nautilus by Jelly Jerry and M390. Great design. And here we have the CJRB Rhea with the marbled carbon fiber. And then the titanium clip. Great little knife. Really, really like this guy. On bearings. And then the D10 is just ridiculous. And then this is the only knife I keep upside down because of that blade shape, which I call the Rhino Cleaver. The TS-87 by Josh Watko in D2. Stupid smooth. And the last two I kept till the end because I doubt most of you guys will make it this far. And because they are controversial. They're clones. But I don't have a problem owning them. This is the Microtech styled SOCOM Delta by Kevin John. Beautiful, beautiful piece, S35VN. I would rather own this than a Microtech, but that's just me. I like my Kevin Johns. Very smooth. And last is the uh, Lavoco Snacks. Another really, really high-end, nice clone. Stupid smooth on washers. Just a really interesting piece here, the way the uh, build construction is. But, I mean, yes, I realize they're clones, I get it. But I can't afford a $12,000 original, so I bought this instead. But that's all I got, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's everything. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you on the next series. Have a good one.